Okay. Hello everyone. My name is Gajendra Deshpande and I am working as assistant professor in KLS Gupta Institute of Technology, India. Today I will be presenting a talk on uh, Julia Code Generator for Flogorhythm Flowchart Interpreter. So these are the contents which we are going to discuss in today's uh, talk. So I will be discussing about the flow flowgorithm tool and how I generated Julia code from flowchart for flowgorithm tool. Then we'll briefly discuss how we can use uh, Julia on Android. Then conclusion and finally the future goals. Then the motivation why we created this tool we get students from diverse background that is whose primary medium of study is not english and we also get students from rural uh, and economically weaker section of the society so programming course is introduced as one of the first courses in engineering study in india and i have seen students struggling to understand the programming concepts and often stuck between the syntax and semantics of the language that is because most of the students are not exposed uh, to the uh, computer devices background uh, is although there are many tools such as Alice or Scratch or etc but more formal tools are needed to aid in assessment so for example let's consider Alice or Scratch where you can uh, construct the program or logic by dragging and dro dropping the blocks but these tools are mostly suited for school students uh, nor they may not be suitable for college students or may not be acceptable by the authorities so we needed more formal tools uh, in engineering the problem solving approach starts with um, flowcharts so we found flowgorithm a uh, useful tool which can be included in our curriculum. So the flowgorithm is a flowchart interpreter where flowcharts can be drawn and executed. And also the code generation option is present. So you can select uh, a language from the available list. And flowcharts are one of the most widely used tools for uh, problem solving and understand the program flow. So the flowgorithm tool supports 18 plus programming languages but lacks the support for Julia language. So there was need to add the support of Julia language to flowgorithm if we wanted to introduce Julia as the first programming language for problem solving. Then flowgorithm flowchart interpreter, it generates Julia code from the flowcharts. I have created a template based on the existing templates for the flowgorithm to generate the Julia code. It is very simple to use. Just draw the flowchart, select the Julia template to generate the code and execute the flowchart to view the result. This tool is very helpful for non-native English speakers who are interested to learn problem solving and programming without worrying much of syntax and errors. So you can download the repository from my GitHub account so the URL is specified below. So you will get a template file and some examples are present. And you need to download the flowgorithm tool from uh, flowgorithm website and start using my template. So steps are specified in my GitHub repository. So to create a Julia language template, uh, we needed a template file. So the template file has the these sections, it has a language section where keywords and extensions are defined. Then it has got a literal section and the expressions section where operator precedence has been defined. Then intrinsic and extrinsic functions, then program features like defining uh, different blocks of program, including decision making and loops. In case of user defined functions, the implementation needs to be included in the template. The advantages of using flowgorithm are it is easy to use, drag and drop, and corresponding code generation is possible. It is very beginner friendly and a great tool to learn problem solving. The disadvantage is that code generation is limited, advanced code generation is not possible. 
for example some features are not supported two or more dimensional arrays are not at all supported then uh, language specific features such as broadcast operators are not supported then presently there is no support for indic languages now this slide shows the example of a flowchart and the corresponding code generation and its output on the left hand side you can see the flowchart has been drawn and on the right hand side its corresponding julia code you can find and at the bottom you can see the output so this is the program for uh, search for extraterrestrial intelligence in the universe and you can see here you can even add comments to the flowchart and same comments can be transformed to julia language comments so now let's start the demonstration and i will explain step by step how i have created the julia code generator this will help you to generate or add a template if you find that you want to add support of a new programming language to uh, flogorithm now you need to visit a website called flogorithm.org so this tool was created by devin cook and on the home page you can see the features of uh, julia lang uh, features of flogorithm tool tutorial is available and it also shows that multilingual support is available so it supports um, uh, around more than 10 languages so similarly you can go to download section and presently uh, it is available only for windows so both 64 bit and 32 bit versions are available if you want to use it on other operating system you need to uh, make use of wine emulator i don't know whether it works on uh, uh, linux i have not tried it but you can try it and try to install or try to use it on linux platform using wine emulator then there are different color schemes available okay so you can select the color scheme whichever you want whichever you like if you don't like any one of these you can create your own color scheme and start using it then next section is documentation so you can see here in documentation information for basics expression shapes is included then there is a tutorial section simple hello world program is included here manuals are included and some example programs are also included then this section is very important for us program templates if you want to add support for your new language and if it is not present in uh, flogorithm you need to come to this section and click on documentation and you can see here the explanation of different sections of program templates is specified in this page right and you can also see here some examples are also included you can download one of these and start editing it so to create the Julia template i had downloaded the python.txt file because syntax of python and julia matches a bit now once you download the file you should start editing it so this is the structure of a text file so the first section is the language section you need to change the name of the language to julia then specify the extension then in the next section you need to define the keywords now to define the keywords uh, you need to find the list of keywords first uh, unlike many languages you don't find the list of keywords in julia so to get the list you need to go to the github repository of uh, julia language and go to the appropriate file and copy it and paste it here 
so case sensitivity you need to specify true if there are any other conflicts you need to mention it then in the next section you need to start defining the literals so i have defined the types here so i have just defined integer float and boolean i am not i have not specified whether it is a 32 bit or 64 bit so if you want you can specify it clearly here then function id variable id string literals all have been defined okay the next is the expressions so in expressions uh, the first important uh, thing is the operator precedence so in most of the languages the operator precedence is the same so if there is any change you need to define that order here in this particular section I have not tried it, but in future I may try to use specific Julia symbols for not equal to or pi symbol and so on. So for string operation, you can also use plus operator here, but default plus operator on strings is not supported in Julia for concatenation. You need to uh, overload it using multiple dispatch then you can start using it then similarly operations on integer then subtraction multiplication division exponentiation module low division power function not function so all these functions have been defined here so you can go on adding to this list so similarly default functions have been included in this file now in this section you can see here in square brackets some text is included so this is the text which will appear in your flowchart but the corresponding code will appear in in or the specified in text section yeah if a particular function is not present you can add your function here that is usually different functions can be added so function function call function syntax has been included here then different program features have been included so if your uh, program lacks any feature you can just add the feature here so these were the features which were lacked by python language so author has added it similarly if julia language lacks any feature you can come to this section and add it so this is how function block has been defined and similarly arrays then while block for block have been defined input statements have been defined note here that by default dual accepts input in string format so it needs to be converted to number or appropriate data types so for that pass function has been used in condition the format of uh, the syntax if condition has been defined then output statement println statement has been defined then finally the while block has been defined so once you modify your template files just save it and close it your task is done right. then let's move to flowgorithm tool here so let's start with new so when you start your flowgorithm tool this is the user interface you will get and if you go to file menu you will find all basic options here in case of edit there are some features like zoom in zoom out which are necessary since it's a diagram then you can run this program you can also run step by step you can define the run speed note here that this run speed is not the program speed 
it is the speed of visualization whether you want to uh, run the visualization slow medium or fast then you can remove the breakpoints so similarly you can add function and you can also define the program attributes then there are some tools so in tools if you select change language this the these are the options available for user interface so you can go for chinese or taiwanese or some other language such as spanish or fr french so many options are available so if something is not supported then you can contact devin cook mail him so he will mail you the language file so you just need to translate that file in your language and send it to him he will incorporate in the next release okay so when you start you will get the you will get this user interface and to start drawing the flowchart you can see here there are some things like main end and then arrow so main marks the start of the flowchart and marks the end of the flowchart then in between you need to add the sections like input output statement processing blocks so you just need to click on arrow and now you can see here it shows different options so you can add a comment to the flowchart you can add breakpoint to the flowchart then you can define input output statements here then you can define variables so you, to define variables first you need to declare the variables so for that you need to choose declare symbol then next is to assign values to the declared variables then you have a control symbols so if you want to define the flow and if there are conditions statements so you need to use if statement then similarly there is a function call if you want to call any function you need to use this then similarly there are looping blocks while block and for block so do is not available in julia so just ignore it so to print hello message i'll go for output symbol and double click on output so here you can just type the message in double quote to print it now say okay so now click on run and see here it is generating the output okay fine so similarly now you can also add input statement here okay this is output statement okay to add input statement you need to first uh, declare the variables right so you can add a variable name here then you need to select the appropriate type if it is an array click on array then you need to define the size of the array okay if it is not an array just select one of these types right and say okay done okay so this is how you draw a simple flow chart in in flowgorithm so there are different views here for the layouts so if you click on layout it will show the different layout if you want only chart you can select this if you want variables and chart you can select the second option but uh, i prefer to go for uh, variables and uh, i prefer to go for code and console so when i say code and console you can see here on the left side i'll get a flow chart on the right side i have a corresponding code and on the bottom side i have the corresponding output okay so similarly you can select i'll go for predefined programs which i have already created so you can see here it has generated the program here it has generated I have drawn the flow chart and it has generated the corresponding program here
right and you can see here these are the languages it supports right but there is no julia language uh, support here so that's why you need to create a template file and once your template file is ready you need to select open and select this julia file i note here the extension of template file is .fpgt okay extension should be .fpgt then select open okay so now you can see here it has generated the code in julia language okay so you can start executing it it now asks how many numbers i'll say three i'll enter first number 10 second number 20 and third number 30. so now it is giving me the output as 60. okay right so this is how you need to run this uh, julia code generator so if a particular language is not supported then what you need to do is download one of the templates modify it save it with an extension dot fpgt draw the flow chart then come to the code generation feature then select open and select the template right once the template is selected it will generate the corresponding code and when you click on run option it will execute the code okay so this is how you should be using this flow algorithm tool okay so now moving to the next slide right we have already discussed this so, so next uh, this is the slide which helps uh, educators so in this slide i'll be dealing with uh, generation z students and biod so generation z students are born between 1995 and 2010 they are more tech savvy they believe in more hands-on learning but teachers they don't belong to generation z they belong to previous generation so they need to be equipped with the technology in order to create creative and more uh, useful learning experience so these are true digital natives because they have been exposed to the gadgets internet and social networks from their earliest youth so with byod that is bring your own device you are creating one-to-one -one classroom uh, environment so students bring and use their choice of technological devices in the classroom they may get laptop or tablet or smartphone so the advantages uh, and disadvantages of byod are the students know their devices they know the construction of the devices and it has many possibilities and they may have access to the cutting edge devices it is very cost effective compared to the uh, computer then learning outside the school hours is possible and the respect for the device that means if they get their own device then they will use it carefully then organization of students is much better then similarly disadvantages there may be students without devices because of their economical conditions they may not be able to buy the devices then uh, different devices that means uh, there are uh, students from diverse background so each student may have a, a device with a different configuration that's a challenge then there's a distraction so apart from learning student can use it for other purposes and it may result into not responsible student so many countries including austria usa estonia us uk have all uh VYOD policy then in india cisco devnet is working with uh, aict that is all india council for technical education for securing and increasing the productivity of uh, VYOD devices in classrooms at schools then uh, you can install julia on android it is also possible to install on um, ios devices so to install it on 
uh, Android, you need to first install the terminal emulator called as Termax. Then on top of Termax, you need to install Ubuntu. So there are two possibilities here. One is either you can go for Ubuntu in Termax or uh, you can go for pointless repo on GitHub. Anyone is fine, but anyhow, you should ensure that Ubuntu is installed. Then install Julia on Ubuntu and start using it. Then you can go for hackers keyboard for better typing experience, but it records all your activities. So use it on your own risk. Then the clear steps or detail steps you can find in the specified URL. Now these are the screenshots from my mobile phone on the first uh, screen. That is the leftmost screen. You can see the Julia prompt. The second screen, I have just printed the hello message. That is hello Julia from smartphone. And in third screen, I have performed basic operations. That is addition and exponentiation operation. Now I have done one more operation here. That is the addition and multiplication of array elements. Then next, if you want, you can also use editors like Nano on your mobile phone and uh, start typing your uh, code, save it. Then to execute your code, you should go for uh, Nano, uh, save it. Then you can go for Julia command to run your program. 